Hi guys, uh, today in this lecture uh, we will talk about the shape vector and especially we are interested to find the shape vector of a rectangular section. Uh, so let's start the shape vector. First of all I will write that about the shape vector that what's the formula for shape vector. Shape vector now formula of the plastic moment capacity of the section the one divided to the yield moment capacity of any section right so this is the formula for the shape for calculating the shape factor of any section in this uh, lecture today we will take an example of rectangular section of the beam let's I draw here the rectangular section of beam on the right side uh, this is the simply supported beam having roller and hand support and this is the, let's suppose this is the uniformly distributed load on the beam, right? Uh, and this is the uh, and this is the cross section and this is the cross section of the beam. Rectangular beam, we have of width B and having uh, height of D. So, uh, as we write it here, the, the shape factor is equal to the plastic moment capacity to the yield moment capacity, right? So let we take an example of a simple supported beam having so having some load acting on this beam. This is the load acting on the beam. So when this load act on this beam, are represented by W, uh, there will be some stress and strain graph, uh, uh, which I drawn it here on the left side. Uh, the in the x-axis I write it strain because it is independent of the stress and it is stress on the y-axis. So this is the graph between stress and strain, right? So when this load acts a W on the beam, uh, there will be some stresses created in this beam, and it will show some deflection when it, this load acts. And and this and the, the member will show, uh, and the steel in this member uh, will somehow show. Like I I take an example. That this is a uh, let's suppose this is a steel beam, right? As a steel cross section of the beam. So, when the load acts on this beam, the, uh, the stress uh, diagram will be like that. It will go proportional limit, the stress will be equal to the strain in this portion and up to this portion. And after this, this proportional limit will not be followed onwards. So, so after when we increase the much more load, if we increase the other load from W to maybe uh, W1, so now this stress graph will also reaches to its yield limit, right? This will be the yield limit of the uh, this beam section uh, to which it reaches its yield limit, right? After reaching its yield limit, so we the moment capacity of this beam at this point, at this yield limit point, we represent it by MY. This is the basic concept of, uh, of you can say, of structure, uh, to how we find the yield moment and what is the yield moment. So when our load acts on the beam, it will deflect and uh, it will show, uh, the stress diagram will show go increase, increase, and then it will reach to the Fy. And similarly, uh, the moment we calculate at this moment capacity, at this stage, it will be called the yield moment capacity of this beam. So after the further increasement of the beam, it will show deflection like this. It, uh, sorry, it, it will show deflection like this. And after further increasement, it will show an increase, increase in deflection. At last, when the load reaches to W, the maximum capacity load that can act on the beam is that, let's suppose it's W, right? And it shows the maximum deflection here up to this now. So this is the maximum load that acts on the beam. So, and the graph will follow the trend like this one, right? Because it's steel section, I follow a path like this. So, now, the, uh, as, as when the load increases in the beam, the deflection increases and it follows a path like this, right? So, now at this point, it will show its maximum moment demand, right? Maximum moment, sorry, the maximum capacity of the beam that uh, it, it it is it have after that it will show the failure right there's a failure stage after that um, the beam will tends to fail 
So the moment capacity after this stage we call the beam is in plastic stage. It will no longer act in an elastic range. Uh, as the yield, uh, as the yield range reaches after uh, after it start the plastic uh, behavior of the beam, and the capacity which we calculate after and reaching to the maximum capacity of the beam, and we denote it by the MP, right? We denote it by MP. It means is the plastic moment capacity of the beam. It's the plastic moment capacity of the beam, right? There's the plastic moment capacity. While MY we calculate here is the is the yield moment capacity of the beam. So when we divide the plastic moment capacity by the yield moment capacity, we find the shape factor of any section of the beam, even a cross section of the beam, right? So uh, please, if you didn't watch our previous video about the elastic section and you know, plus section of the rectangular beam, so please watch this video so you will know about the elastic section and plastic section modulus. Uh, I defined the concept of elastic and plus section modulus. So in this video, I'm just showing about the shape factor, right? So this was uh, this was about the shape factor, and remember that now is defined in the previous video that uh, the plastic MP that the MP value is. Uh, I'm removing all these things. That is the MP value MY so the yield moment capacity of the beam of the rectangular section of the beam, uh, like this the moment capacity in this direction, right? This is the whole diagram and the moment is capacity this section, MY, right? Uh, is uh, BD square by 6. This is the uh, for rectangular section. We find it in the previous video. Please watch this video if you didn't watch yet. And this is the capacity we find at this moment. We call it the plastic moment capacity, right? MP. And then we, then we also find the MP. Uh, is equal to the BD square by 4. So uh, the shape factor is we defined as the MP divided by MY. So dividing the uh, these values by one another. So MBD square by 6 divided by the BD square by 4. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I made a mistake. The shape factor is uh, the, the dividing the MP divided by MY. So BD square by 4. BD squared by 4 divided by the BD squared by 6, right? So when we simplify this, uh, BD squared BD square by 4 multiply by 6 divided by BD squared, right? So BD squared, BD squared cancel, and 6 divided by 4, we comes out with 1.5. So it means that the shape factor, shape factor of the rectangular section of the beam is 1.5. This is the rectangular section of the beam. And its shape factor we define and we prove it's 1.5 from the formula that the you know, shape factor is equal to the MP divided by MY. And we know that the uh, M yield moment capacity of the beam is we find is B D square by six and the plastic moment capacity is B D square by four. So when we divide these two will we get the one point five. So it should be remembered that the shape factor for the rectangular section of the beam is one point five and you should remember it uh, onwards. And you can find the shape factor for any cross section. Uh, but uh, you should know the the concept behind the shape factor that involves the two factors. Uh, the, the MP, the, the MP and MY, right? And uh, you should both calculate MY for the cross section of the beam uh, uh, and the MP. So dividing these two values, we get uh, 1.5 for rectangular and you can find it for any type of uh, cross section, any shape of cross section of the beam. So this was all about the shape factor and we will upload more videos about civil engineering uh, either cast other conceptual uh, as well as practical so please subscribe our channel for more videos and thank you